Hey guys, what's up? Brian here with your PFC Training Minute. We're calling this one Index Thumbs Momentary and On. And what we are talking about is the different switching options that exist on a weapon-mounted handgun light. So I've got two of those set up here. This is an X300 Ultra by uh, Surefire. And then I've got the Mod Light PL350, I think is what it's called, on, uh, on this other Glock. So a couple different considerations, something to be conscious of. We know that on the Surefire and some other products that are out there that we have a couple of options. We have a full on switch where we can activate that by pushing up or down and that turns the light on, the light will remain on. And then we also have a push towards the, uh, the bow of the gun, so to speak, and that can create a momentary light. In this case, I'm doing that with my index finger. I can also be doing that with my thumb over on the support side, keeping my index finger free. In the case of the uh, the mod light, it doesn't have that momentary switching capability. It's either on, you can see my index finger is clear, I just switched it on, now it's off. Or I could utilize my thumb, push down, or with my thumb I could push up, and then it comes on. So let's talk pros and cons of both things that we need to be conscious of, and then ultimately the big one is uh, selection and then things that we need, to, uh, we need to be training. So there's some problems that exist especially as they pertain to the disparity between qualification courses of fire and then ultimately using the thing for a real world purpose. Uh, for qualification, guys will come out, they're gonna have a low light stage and we see guys that they, uh, they round the corners off and they simply turn that light on, the light is now on, they come up and they fire the given stage of the qual. If they do that, what they're likely doing is maintaining their consistent two-handed firing grip that they have during the daytime and all that kind of stuff, which is great. We got all kinds of repetitions of holding the gun a certain way, especially with the adoption of a red dot. We have to, we have to maintain that if we want to acquire the dot in a reliable, rapid, uh, rapid fashion. Then there's this other wrinkle that comes into play where guys will be, especially law enforcement officers, will be moving through a structure, house, whatever that is, and they're searching utilizing strobing techniques, intermittent flashes of light, and they're using that index finger to activate the light for searching purposes, moving doors, managing teammates, whatever that may be as they get around. In the event that they find somebody, how often is the skill trained to come up and go full on with the light? I can tell you that because of hand geometry, hand strength, finger strength, maybe I need to drink more milk on the Surefire, I can easily activate it in the momentary mode by pushing forward, but I have difficulty generating enough leverage to push that down with my index finger or push it up there. I'm just getting it by pushing up with my index finger to come on in the full on mode. With my thumb inversely over on the other side, obviously I can get that momentary. That's nothing like my two handed daytime grip. I can easily press it down and get it to come on and come back and reacquire my daytime grip. With the mod light, more difficult for me to strobe with it. In fact, there isn't a strobing function, whether it be manual or otherwise, that momentary, but incredibly ergonomic and easy for me to activate that with just my index finger. If I were clearing an area, searching an area, I can turn that thing on, I can turn it off very easily, activate it with my index finger. And if I found something, I can come up, activate that light, get in, get on the trigger, get to work and then turn it off. As far as my thumb goes, my support side thumb, that's very easy for me to acquire that, press it down, move back up, and acquire my good daytime grip. So back to what we talked about originally here. Indexes versus thumbs. What is the finger that should be doing the switching task? And it's kind of it's kind of both. I would say that if I've got a two-handed grip that's on the weapon, it might be easier to uh, use more leverage or find that switch with the thumb, activate it, come up and shoot, rolling the gun, in my case, off my knuckle, turns it off. But again, if I'm in that one-handed configuration, I'm going to have no choice other than to activate the weapon light with my index finger. I can get it into full-on stay-on mode to shoot when I've got that mod light, when I've got that surefire, I can easily come up and I can get that potential momentary on, but then I have difficulty, a little more difficulty coming up and getting it into day on, stay on type thing. So that's a factor. With the Surefire, not a problem for me to come in with my support side thumb, press down, come up, now I'm in full on activation, and then we go from there. As far as shooting with it in momentary mode or shooting with it in full on mode, 
There's nothing wrong per se with shooting with it in momentary mode, but as we said at the beginning, again, we've got all these repetitions, the motor skills, where our hands go on the weapon, and then we turn the lights off, and then suddenly we start messing with that, and that can have a detrimental effect. Imagine for a moment that you had a seat position inside of a car, hand position on the steering wheel, position of the throttle and the brake, and we said we're going to have those positioned as such during the day, and then when it's nighttime driving, we're going to move those things around and uh, it's going to jack you up. It's going to mess you up. So just be conscious of that as far as which light is capable of doing which thing, which finger is assigned to do which thing. We also don't want to get that finger confusion between an index finger that should be managing a trigger. And in this case, it's busy with a task managing, uh, managing the light and those ergonomics. Again, what weapon is it on? It might work well for you on one weapon where you can reach the controls. We put it on a different gun and then you struggle with it and you have problems. One thing that is pretty cool about these mod lights, these weapon lights here, is that uh, when you buy one, it comes standard, uh, I believe it's standard, but it comes with a package of three or four different switch paddles and options. So different strokes for different folks and you can hopefully find one that matches your finger, your manicure, holster, all that kind of good stuff. Give them all a try, practice these things. It's not just about standing still at the three yard line and just coming up with both hands on the gun and making those hits. Be safe.